maternal diabetes mellitus. Um, so there is an increased rate of congenital anomalies related to preconception glucose. So a lot of moms um, don't find out they're diabetic until they get pregnant. And the question always is, are they, did, were they pregnant prior, to, I'm sorry, were they diabetic prior to the pregnancy or did they develop it during the pregnancy? Is this gestation or pregestation? And in many cases, it's pregestation, but we often don't know that answer until the next pregnancy when it happens again. Uh, the result in the, with the high preconception uh, glucose is an increased risk of fetal anomalies by two to five fold. And then the, the likelihood of fetal macrosomia. And you can see an example here of a particularly large infant. Um, again, and this is a combination of the preconception glucose, which causes the anomalies, and the post, the third trimester high glucose, which leads to the macrosomia. Um, with the high rates of glucose delivery to the fetus, the fetus uh, um, excretes a lot of insulin from their pancreas and gets uh, hyperplasia. Um, and then that, that can last anywhere from a few days to a few weeks and is very difficult to treat. Um, and uh, that leads to hypoglycemia and the requirement of IV fluids for baby. It also impairs surfactant productions fairly significantly. And a lot of these babies have uh, surfactant deficiency and end up getting um, intubated and given surfactant even after, um, even though they're born at, at, at term or, or um, later. Cardiomyopathy is also an important. They develop a particular type of idiopathic hypertrophic uh, cardiomyopathy that's related to it's basically an enlarged ventricular septum, and they're very prone to poor cardiac output when they're tachycardic, which they often are because they're angry and crying and getting IVs stuck and things. And then they're, they have a higher incidence of jaundice, and they have higher incidence of caudal regression syndrome. And we'll go into a few other things that are associated with significant maternal gestational diabetes.